What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Stellar, and we're taking a look at their converter for OST files. Now, Outlook has a tendency to really love OST files. Unfortunately, most people despise them because they're really, really messy. Now, you could traditionally convert this and put in Excel or maybe go online or pay some whatever, and then maybe, last but not least, you get your contacts back. No, we don't want to do that. We have much better software. This cool little software supports all the output formats, everything from Live Exchange, Office 365, Outlook Profile, PST, DXB, to uh, MSG, to EML, to um, or I'm in D, uh, DBX, my bad. EML to RTF, HTML, and PDF. All these cool little things, and you can actually batch convert as well. So you're able to go ahead and jump into all of these really, really cool options. So as you can see, the first thing we're taking a look at here is our contacts. So there's Anika, there's Pardeep, and of course, Raja. And the really cool thing is we can also um, quickly sort between our tasks in here. So this particular task is about a meeting. Um, you can see the due date of that task. You can go ahead and see the start day. Here's another one about a haunted house, which is really interesting as well. Um, you can also see the subject directly in here. And you can sort by the day. Another one about the haunted house, but this one says my name is Skrillex. That's interesting, I guess. And the owner of this particular one is ABCD. How cool is that? So of course, that's um, tasks, but what we can also do is go ahead and check out journals. So as you guys can see, we are able to go ahead and check out all these journal entries. There is one journal created for testing. It's by a particular company. Um, and of course, we can see our notes. And the cool thing about notes is that it puts it in a little note. How cool is that? Wipe need to check on Leopard. And then there's something about Bang and Shrek. And then there's something about Friday 7 December meeting interesting these are all very random however it is cool that it's able to piece all these together and place them so nicely over here we did check out the calendar quickly so obviously this can bring back things that were on your calendar if you need to jump back and the really nice thing is you can go and find a particular message using the search option as well but the main reason this is designed is of course for this much more messier section in the mail area. You see, this is the section where it shows you everything. For example, it shows you your contacts and your calendar dates and your deleted items in your drafts, inbox, outbox, junk files, everything that possibly can be on Outlook is inside of here, which is really, really awesome. You can also recover deleted emails directly from here. You can also find emails. You can go and compress and split PST files, which is really awesome as well. You're also able to preview everything before you save anything um, in a three pane structure, which we're looking at here. And it's very simple and easy to use because as you can see by our drafts, the really cool thing is that it's just like your typical email that you would find in Outlook. So everyone already knows how to use this particular software. Um, last but not least, you get Microsoft Office support. Um, and of course, it's compatible with all Windows versions. Um, a really interesting thing I found about this is that it can also pull RSS feeds. Um, and of course, obviously, it pulls emails like we just looked at. But RSS feeds is really interesting. As you can see, we have all our different NBCnews.com um, feed here that all these random AIDS virus and then the recession and the weak economy, all these random news articles we were able to pull and quickly view. So, you know, there are other ways you could use this software. For example, if you just want to use it as a, I don't know, a binge RSS reader where you want to batch quickly look through everything, yet yeah, technically speaking, could. So that is interesting. So all in all, guys, go ahead and check this out in the link below. It's really, really awesome. And there's a ton of options in here, like being able to save contacts into a CSV format, take that, toss it into an Android. And once again, you have all your contacts back. So as I said, there's a lot of powerful things you can do with this software. Now, one of the coolest options is that you can actually select and of course, go ahead and take the entire converted file and you can actually go and save it as a variety of formats. Now, what actual formats do we get here? Well, first things first, we get PST, MSG, EML, RTF, HTML, which is really, really cool. And of course, a .pdf file. Now, most people, you know, might actually want the .pdf file and the PST file, which is really, really cool. So for example, this time we're just gonna hit the PST and we're gonna save it. And as you guys can see, just like that, it'll make a nice converted file with a nice small size, nine megabytes. And now you can go ahead and email that or send that or, flat, or maybe send it over a memory card to anyone who possibly possibly needs that particular file, which is really, really awesome. And of course, go ahead and play around with it yourself, and I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the link below. This is going to be me logging.